An increasing problem uh, for children and especially teens with FASD is their involvement in the online world. Recent studies have shown that teenagers uh, with FASD do not spend significantly more hours on the internet than do uh, teenagers who do not have FASD. But what this study found was that the reason the teens are on the internet are different. Teens without FASD are on the internet for social reasons, for connections, for communication. Teens with FASD tend to be on the internet more for uh, self-regulation, for finding some kind of uh, mechanisms for uh, discharging their tensions and anxiety. What we have to understand is that the technology of the internet includes a compulsion loop. Now, what do we mean by that? The pleasure center of the brain is the dopamine system. That's the regulatory center as well as the pleasure center of the brain. So when we eat food, when we smoke a cigarette, if someone uses cocaine, methamphetamine, that fires off dopamine. And that's why a person gets pleasure from any of those activities. We also know that dopamine is fired off when you interact with other people. And in addition, oxytocin, which is known as the cuddle hormone, uh, that's how, what makes you feel good about relating to other people. Oxytocin levels also go up by your use of the internet. For example, when a typical adolescent or um, adult hears their uh, telephone ding because they got a text message, oxytocin levels go up 15% just by hearing that ding. So that's why we enjoy social media. That's why we, we go on to the internet for that gratification of connection. Now it's that compulsion loop that can feed into teens who have FASDs, it can feed into their uh, seeking pleasure, their seeking social connections without the stress of social connections. So when we talk about FASDs and the online world, we know that young people with FASDs do not respond to the internet in the same way and are using the internet, social media, uh, games on the internet for different reasons than your typical teen. And so we have to be very careful and lay out strict rules for use of the internet in our homes and at school.